hey guys welcome back again and in this video i am going to do a multiple view recycler view this was a request that many of you have asked me to do a video on this so that's what i am going to do in this video so without wasting any time let's see what we have till now so here we have a very basic recycler view application with the list of marvel movies as you can see here and as far as the main activity goes it implements a very basic recycler view and here we have a very basic recycler adapter class which creates a view holder using this row item that is this row item so let's see how do we modify this recycler view to have multiple views so it's very simple so firstly what i am going to do i am going to create a new row item for a different view so i'll right click here that is on the layout folder i'll click uh, create a new layout resource file and i'll name this another row item and i'll change the root element to be constraint layout and it depends on you what root element you want to use i'm using constraint layout here so now let me click on ok here and this is a good thing don't worry about this so let me click on add i'll enter the full screen mode and now to keep this video very simple what i'm going to do i'm going to copy all the elements from inside this row item.xml and i'll paste it inside my another row item.xml file right here itself and now what i'm going to do i'm going to change its height to be wrap content now we have a very similar row as this row item.xml so what i'm going to do i'm going to modify this another row item.xml file so i'll remove this image view from here and now what i'm going to do I am going to right click on this top text view and I will center it horizontally in the parent and I will give this a top margin of 16 dps and now I will select this bottom text view and I will give this a bottom margin of 32 dps and I will select the top text view and instead of 16 dps I will give it a top margin of 32 dp also. So now we have a different row item than this row item that is here we have a image a text view a text view here but here in this another row item we only have two text views and the ids are the text view and this id is the row count text view so it doesn't matter whatever the id you have you have to use it in the view holder so i'll tell you about that later in the video so now we have two different views for our different row items so now let's go to our recycler adapter class and here we need to delete a couple of things so firstly what i'll do i'll remove this thing here that is the recycler view dot view holder because this view holder thing is this thing that is the this class so i'll delete this thing from here and now what i'm going to do i'm going to delete this on create view holder on bind view holder get item count method from here and i also delete this view holder class from here so that we can start afresh and now what we need to do we need to implement the default override methods of this recycler adapter class so i'll press alt and enter and implement the methods that is the on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so i'll press enter there so we have the three default methods here and what i'm going to do here i'm going to override one more method that is the get item view type so i can start typing here get item view type and it pops up here so i'll just press enter now we have the get item view type method also inside our recycler adapter class and now here inside this get item count what we can return we can simply return the size of this list so instead of zero we can return movies list dot size now let's create two view holders each one for this row item and another view holder for this another row item so let's do that inside this recycler adapter class so i'll go here where at the very bottom and here what i'll do i'll create a class I'll call it view holder one and this extends from recycler view dot view holder and now I'll press alt and enter to implement the constructor that is matching the super and now I'll create another class that is the view holder two so view holder two which extends from recycler view dot view holder again and now we need to implement the constructor also so alt and enter and we have our constructor here now this view holder one will refer to this row item that is with an image view and this view holder two will, would refer to this another row item that is without the image view 
So now let me find out those text views and image views inside our view holder. So here inside this view holder one, what I'm what I have is text view and it is text view and row count text view. It is row count text view. And then we have an image view here. So image view, image view like this. And now here inside the constructor itself, we can find those text views and image views. Item view dot find view by ID R dot ID dot text view. And then the row count text view equal to item view dot find view by ID R dot ID dot row count text view. And we have our image view equal to item view dot find view by ID R dot ID dot image view. Since this view holder one refers to this row item, that is this row item. So here this is the image view, this is the text view and this is the row count text view. And now let's go to the view holder two, which refers to this another row item. And it also has an ID of text view and the bottom one has an ID of row count text view. So here what we have, we have two text views. So text view and row count text view again. And here we can again find those text views and row count text view equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view and row count text view equal to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot row count text view. So this view holder thing is complete. So now let's go to this get item view type. So here basically in this get item view type, you need to return an integer which will define the type of row you want to have at that position that is at that position inside your recycler view. So let me remove this thing here from here. And basically for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to do. So since my list contains a list of Avenger movies, like here, we can see here that these are the list of Avenger movies. So what I want to do that whenever Avengers appear in one of the items, then I want to display this row item that is with the image view. Otherwise I want to display this item that is without the image view. So let's go to our recycler adapter class here and here I want to return the view type. So I'll name this view type that is the row item as zero and this one would be an integer that is one. So we can check that like this. So if movies list dot get position by doing this, we are getting the movie at that particular position and then we transform it to lowercase and then we check if it contains a char, char sequence that is we want to check if it contains Avengers then we want to return zero and this zero refers to this row item that is the view holder one because I want to inflate this row inside our view holder one otherwise what we want to do we want to simply return one that is for this another row item and that would be referring to view holder two. And now inside this on create view holder, what I'll do, I'll create a layout inflator first. So layout inflator, layout inflator equal to layout inflator dot from and here the context can be provided from parent dot get context like this. And here I'll create a variable of view. And now I check here if view type. Since we are getting the view type here in this on create view holder, we can check if the view type is equal equal to zero. That is this view type that is zero here that if it contains Avengers, then we need to inflate this row item dot XML file. That is this row. So here what I'll do view equal to layout inflator dot inflate. And here we need to pass in the resource. So R dot layout dot row item and then we need to pass in parent and then attach to root to be false like this and then what we need to return we need to return a something kind of a view holder since our view holder one refers to this row item that is the first row item that we have inflated here so we can simply return new view holder one and here we need to pass in the view like this and so for this view type that is the for zero type that if it contains Avengers, it will return view holder one. Otherwise, what we want to do, we want to inflate another view that is another row item that is the view that is for the view holder two. So here what I'll do. So view equal to layout inflator dot inflate. 
and here we pass in the another row item r dot layout dot another row item and here again parent and then attach to root to be false and then what we need to return we need to return another again a type of view holder thing here but this time i would return view holder 2 so here i'll return new view holder 2 and here i'll need to pass in the view that is that is this view here and now i'll put a semicolon here and i'll remove this return null from here now let's come to this method that is the on bind view holder and here we simply bind our view holders that is the two view holders that is the view holder one and view holder two so firstly let's make a if check if movies list dot get at this particular position dot to lowercase dot contains if it contains avengers then i want to bind this view holder one otherwise i want to bind this view holder two so else i'll make a comment here so bind view holder one here what we need to do we need to bind view holder two and now firstly what we need to do we need to cast this view holder that is this holder to our view holder one so view holder one view holder one equal to holder like this and we simply cast it to view holder one and then what we need to do we can simply view holder one dot text view dot set text and the text would be movies list dot get at position like this and then we can also bind in the row count method uh, row count view text view uh, dot row count text view dot set text and here we can simply pass in the position by passing it string dot value of position and here in this else case we need to bind this second view holder so again we can get that view holder by casting our this holder to view holder 2 so view holder 2 equal to holder again and here we can simply cast it to view holder 2 and now view holder 2 dot text view dot set text and the text would be again movies list dot get at position like this and we can also set text on this row count text view on this another row item view holder 2 dot row count text view dot set text and this would be again a string dot value of position like this and guys your multiple view recycler view is complete so now let's run this application and see what we have now as you can see here the place where avengers comes is shown by this row item one as you can see here and the place where other movies come is shown by this another row item so let me do one thing again so let's go to recycler adapter and instead of avengers what i want to do i want to simply replace it with iron so i'll simply replace this iron so to find the iron man movies so in this get item view type i replace avengers by iron and this uh, on bind view holder again i'll replace avengers by iron now let's run this application and here we have those movies with an image view which starts with iron or contains iron and all the other movies are displayed by view holder 2 so guys this is all what multiple view recycler view is all about it is very simple to implement in this get item view type you need to return the type according to your logic and then in this on create view holder since you have the view type here that is of integer type then you can make a if check or you can make a switch statement and here you can return your view holders and i have only created two view holders so i am returning two view holders but if you want to have multiple view holders that is you want to have multiple row items then you can create as many view holders as you want and then again on this bind view holder you can again make that if check and again you can bind the view holder according to the position of the recycler view item so guys if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to my channel and if you want you can support me on patreon.com i'll provide the link in the description below so thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day